Hey everyone, we're Monique and Nick, two married besties from Australia who are addicted to filling life to the brim with travel, nature and adventure. After being somewhat cooped up for the last two years, along with the rest of the world, we decided that we needed to book ourselves a road trip. We wanted to visit somewhere full of natural beauty, a place teeming with wildlife, and somewhere that had great food, wine, hiking and history. Watch as we lap Australia's island state, Tasmania. We're doing a bit of a series here, so make sure that you're subscribed. by lifting the buckle flap. G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of Vince Venturing. This episode we're going to be showing you around Tasmania's southeast. Let's go. Let's go. Remarkable cave. Shape of Tassie, apparently. We have managed to nab the most glorious day in Tasmania. And we're puffing a bit because we it's haven't left a whole heap of time. And we want to head out to Cape Rule, Rowell. Rowell, R-O-U-L. Yeah, we say everything wrong. Down so. on the Tasman Peninsula. <laughs> Google it, Google yeah. it. Um, we want to get out there and it is a 14k round trip, so it's we're about 12.45 now. Uh, yeah, we're on a mission. <sighs> a cool chair. Oh, do you mind if I do? It's a big chair. It is a big chair. Ah, and what a view. Beautiful Tassie bush. We are so high. All the panting has paid off. Whoa. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm glad we rushed to get out of here. That view. Oh wow. If you are scared of heights, you are not going to like this. So down there, I believe, just there, is the famous Shipstern Bluff, which is probably Australia's biggest wave. If we get time, we might go out there for all the avid surfers out there. And uh, it's Mount Wellington in the distance, Hobart. Over there, I believe, is Bruni Island. Cape, Rule, Rail, and Antarctica, baby. Yeah, I think we're gonna stay here for a bit and soak this in. Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> Amazing. How good's that? This is awesome. Yeah, no, it's a long way down. Good couple of hundred meters straight down. Ooh. It's like mm -hmm. blue mountains, but into the water. We are so high up. Oh my gosh. I'm not even scared of heights, and I'm a little bit like, whoa. <laughs> ah, I guess we should keep going. Alrighty, upwards and onwards. That lookout was so good, we didn't want to leave. <laughs> So we were up kind of here before, I think. We were way up the very top. Oh, were we? So we were up here before, up the top, and that's Shipstern Bluff where people were surfing. You can actually see surfers down there, but obviously in the old GoPro, they're teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Seeds on them. We think that's a Grevillea. Who knows? 
someone might. Who knows? <laughs> God, these look so tasty. If these are edible, I'm gonna be bummed. They look good. The scenery on this walk has changed like 10 times. <laughs> it's really cool to see that all of a sudden you'll just pop into like completely different thing. We have been debating the whole time whether it was worth coming right up to the end. I hope the camera does it justice, because that is bloody cool. It's worth it. Wow. Well, I'm glad we weren't total wimps and kept going. Because you definitely can't see this from up there. No, no, you can't see this at all from up the lookout. So we were sort of thinking what would be different, but it's awesome. Make it to the end. How many people do you reckon sit down out there? Oh, I hope none. Oh, I reckon heaps of idiots do. Yeah. Whoa. How cool is oh that? Oh my gosh. It just keeps getting better, honestly. And we just ran into some people. We were going to turn around. Yeah, they like said we need to push on. Yeah. They, apparently it gets better. So we've succumbed to peer pressure even though it's pretty late in the day. All right. Let's keep going. Let's go, quickly. <laughs> Get a move on. And then the first, first lookout we went to, we were over the, around the other side of that, looking back at this. <laughs> this guy's like my own personal tour guide. I've said it before. I never know what we do every time we go on a trip. He's worth more money. Hey. Wow, it's pretty cool. That's cool. Whoa. That was a long way down. That's so awesome. that is the very tip of Cape Rule Rao. Roll, however you want to pronounce it. We made it. We made it. How cool is that little pillar over there? Another lookout, like way out there. That's really cool. Glad we did it. Yeah. It was awesome. Worth it. This is so cool. It's awesome. <laughs> Made it! You. That was awesome. Awesome. Job done. Now we've got to just go the whole way back. It's a long way back. A lot more up than down, I think. Yeah, what's the time? What's the time? The time is just after 2.30. So okay. We've got about two and a half hours, I reckon. Alright, and then we've definitely earned some sort of cold beverage. Oh yeah. Okay, I think we're about halfway back. I think I just broke the world record for complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs. But I think once we get to the top of this little bit, it's all down back to the car. I, just, I still feel like it was worth it, but it is quite hot today. So I, I'm thirsty and I miss my chapstick. My lips are really dry. All right, anyway, I just thought I'd give you an update. Yeah, nearly there. <laughs> Help me. There she is. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Well done. Lucky number 11 at the Fox and Hound. Oh, look at that view. Hey, oh my gosh. Oh, that's actually so cool. We had kind of not high hopes, to be honest. <laughs> that's really pretty. Oh, he's home oh, for the night. That's that stuff. Tasmania. Mm. 
So this view might look a little bit familiar because um, we were here yesterday morning, but that's where we walked, right out here. We just thought it'd be a really cool view to show you for context where we were. So it's pretty specky. What are we doing today? Uh, we're going on a bike trip. Woohoo! <laughs> Ginger tablets, just in case. <laughs> He <laughs> looks so cool. So during the mid 1800s, this was the port of the penal settlement and a secondary punishment station. The Tasman Peninsula is famous for its towering sea cliffs and abundance of native animals. And since we had some pretty incredible weather, we decided that a boat trip would be the ultimate way to experience both. As you can see, from the sheer joy on our faces this entire trip, it certainly did not disappoint. We saw so many beautiful animals up close. We got to explore sea caves, bask in the beauty of the sea cliffs, and the trip ended by taking us past the famous Tasman Arch. Oh, and we're pleased to say we didn't get seasick. We could not wipe the smile off our faces for the rest of the day. Woohoo! It's essential to have some Tasmanian sparkling. Oh yeah. Grapes grown just around the corner. Yeah, it didn't last long for the wine we picked up on our road trip, <laughs> did it? <laughs> Top tip. Ask for it cold. Yeah, that was pretty smart. <laughs> I was really impressed. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Well, 
Today got away from us a bit, didn't it? It sure did. We've we've wrapped up on the beautiful uh, Tasman Peninsula, so we we finished up with a with an amazing cruise. Incredible. Yeah. So thanks to Pennycoat Wilderness Tours, they were amazing. Highly recommend checking them out. Yeah, absolutely. We saw so many different types of birds. We saw two types of dolphin, two seals. types of seals. We saw massive tuna jumping out of the water, and just some of the most. Yeah. Incredible, like sea cliffs. Tallest sea cliffs in the southern hemisphere. If you're, you're down that way, 100% check it out. Three hour wilderness tour uh, goes like that. So, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's well worth the time and money and Absolutely. effort to get down there. So, yeah. for now, we've got uh, Tassie Sparkling in hand. Yeah. We're looking forward to the next adventure on the uh, we're east, east coast of Tassie. Um, so, for now, thanks for watching, everyone. You guys know the drill like and subscribe, ring the bell, uh, it really helps us out. Yes, and we will catch, catch you on the next one. one.